Well, you're a piece of I hope you know that. I hope you, don't, I hope you rest well at night knowing you're a piece of Folks, in case you're not aware of it, that's called the White People City Council. Okay, what about black people then? What about black people, Alex? you. You're not welcome in Skid Row. You're not welcome in Skid Row, you bandito. You bandito with your stupid ass cowboy hat. That's number one. Yeah, give me the second warning. That's the second warning. You're not welcome here in Skid Row. Don't talk about paid activists when you're a millionaire. Like the Bryants didn't have enough to deal with from the now former LA Sheriff Alex Villanueva and his department. In the lawsuit, Bryant alleges deputies Joey Cruz, Rafael Mejia, Michael Russell, and Raul Versalles shared photos of the helicopter crash. Where they botched the crash site. One deputy in particular took between 25 and 100 photos of the crash scene on his personal cell phone. The court docs read, deputies who responded to the crash scene used personal cell phones to take and share gratuitous photos of the dead children, parents, and coaches, sharing most photos via text or airdrop. And were found to have disseminated photos of the just deceased on their cell phones. One officer went to a bar and proudly showed them to another person in the bar, laughing about it, and another shared the images with other officers through WhatsApp. This after Villanueva promised Vanessa Bryant he would secure the crash site. Now, more harm is being done to the family. According to court documents obtained by E! News, Natalia has filed a restraining order request against 32-year-old Dwayne Cortez Tolliver Kemp from Sun Valley, California. You heard correctly. Natalia Bryant, the daughter of the late Kobe Bryant, has had to deal with a stalker. Bryant, 19, has feared for her life because of a man named Dwayne Kemp. The Bryants, who lost Kobe and Gigi two years ago, have received an outpouring of support for their family, but clearly the hard times continue. Natalia, who attends the University of Southern California, is, as we stated, 19. The stalker is in his 30s and was seen on campus with a bag of flowers trying to find her. He is a gun enthusiast, as seen here, holding a rifle posing for the camera. The photos were obtained by TMZ. In November, Natalia and her lawyer said Kemp began to harass her in 2020 when she was a minor. She filed a restraining order against him in L.A. County Superior Court. The latest per TMZ goes as follows. The judge presiding over the case granted a three-year restraining order against Kemp after her lawyer, Nick Sanchez, displayed the imminent threat against his client. Natalia called into the hearing and testified she doesn't know Kemp, but is terrified of what he's capable of, scared at any moment he could show up. She called his actions unsettling and claimed at one point he even contacted her eyebrow beautician, offering to pay for services Natalia had completed. Years prior, the LA Times reported Kemp spoke to Bryant as though they were in a relationship. He sent her kissing face emojis and hearts and threatened to meet her at her sorority house. They never met. In other messages, he asked to reconcile as though they were romantically in involved and had a falling out. He told her he wanted to have a child with her who could just be like her father, according to the filing. Revisiting that bouquet of flowers picture, Kemp did this on USC's campus. It went down on November 2nd. Kemp, per a police report, tried to find Natalia. He went to the dean's office and asked for her by name. And when the staff told him she wasn't there, Kemp said that he already went to her home, but she wasn't there, according to the report. Under the new three-year order, Kemp cannot possess or purchase any firearms, and he has 24 hours to surrender any weapons he currently owns. Kemp has been arrested and or convicted of at least four crimes, including one involving firearms.